welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm going to be delving into my highlighters we are going to be going through these I'm going to be sorting out which ones I'm going to be keeping which ones I'm going to be decluttering and then I'm going to put you I'm going to put you no I'm going to put them in the drawer up there and show you what it looks like in the drawer um I couldn't film the same ways I've been filming like my palettes and things like that because the drawers are so high my tripod doesn't actually reach up that high so I thought I'd sit down on the floor and do it here and then I can show you what it looks like in the drawer once I've got everything all sorted out of what I'm keeping and things like that so I really need to go through this because I have so many highlighters it is unreal and I really do not need this much and all of this is going to fit in one drawer I'm going to have one drawer for my highlighters and that includes um, the liquids as well not just the powders let's just let's just delve in i think we will start off with the liquids that i've got because i don't actually have a lot of liquid highlighters it's not a product i get particularly excited about because i have oily skin i don't really use liquid highlighter on the regular i will say though that the made by mitchell formula these like newer ones here are absolutely beautiful and I love those ones. Let's go through them. So I'm definitely going to be keeping my Charlotte Tilton. Is that a bit too far out? Okay, that might be a bit better. I'm definitely going to be keeping my Charlotte Tilbury V1. This is a very expensive product. It's a beautiful, like more glowy sort of highlight. It's not super blind and in your face but it is very pretty and natural. I'm going to keep all of my Made by Mitchells. These are all the ones I have. Um, which these three I think I might have decluttered one but I'm not entirely sure if I've missed it out I'll have to come back to it another time but I've got donut sprinkles and cheesecake teas and these are absolutely phenomenal they dry down on the skin which is great so I really really love these they're staying I also have two other shades I have holly pop and champagne spray and they're also going to stay as well I have my rare beauty highlighter this is in the shade enlighten this one's staying I have the beauty crop glow milk in the shade um just do it it's not a product I've used a whole lot of so I really want to get some use out of this and see if I like it on top of powder these are the P Louise dream droplet liquid highlighters got this in the advent calendar I've only just got these so I'm gonna get some more use out of them and they're more of that like more shimmery sort of highlight um one that I'm gonna get rid of is this I Heart Revolution uh, glazed liquid highlight I'm just not gonna reach for it over the other one so I'm gonna oh gonna get rid of this one this XX one is in the shade Crystal Pink. I've not actually used this, I don't think. So I'm going to get some use out of that before I decide whether to get rid of it. I'm also going to declutter this uh, Relove Revolution liquid one. It's not my favourite formula of liquid highlight. Um, it did remove some of my makeup. I did manage to save it in the video, thank goodness. Um, but, but I am going to get rid of this because it's definitely more for someone of the younger audience. I'm going to keep this revolution pro goddess glow one this is a nice sort of dupe of charlotte tilbury so that's going to stay i'm also going to keep my school for good and evil highlight i haven't got enough use out of this so that can stay i'm hoping now that i'll have these in the drawer with my powder highlighters i'll be able to reach for them a lot more and then i think i'm just going to keep my other two revolution ones this is the bright lights highlighter um in the shade strobe champagne i think haven't got a lot of use out of that and this is like a crayon highlight what would be good for like nose contour and things like that so just gonna keep it so we only got rid of two of those so that's brilliant i've got two anastasia beverly hills uh highlighters this is amrezy absolutely iconic highlighter love it that is an original one as well from the very first launch that is staying and then I also have the Iced Out Highlighter. I spent a lot of money on this. That is staying. And I do also have the new one. And I have done a TikTok on that. It might be up by the time you watch this video. But um, that is also staying because it's a very bougie, expensive highlighter. 
and it's exactly the same pretty much as this one which you can no longer get so I'm definitely keeping the new one as well I'm gonna keep my Rem Beauty one this is the brand by Ariana Grande it's not the most exciting highlighter but I did spend a lot of money on it and I need to get some more use out of this as well easily one of my favorite launches of 2023 this is the Rare Beauty highlighter in the shade Enlighten I do also have Exhilarate my original one smashed um, but I repurchased it because I love it that much and I also got the shade Mesmerise I think it was around Black Friday because I got a really good deal I think I essentially paid like two for one because I had a voucher from when I bought the a Space NK Advent Calendar as well so so I've got Enlighten and I've also got two other shades as well but definitely staying so I've got three P. Louise highlighters I've got Heart of Gold which is a very yellowy gold sort of highlighter which I do like to keep on days where I want a warm yellow gold highlighter um and then i've got two other ones i've got star quality which is a bit more of like a neutrally sort of highlighter for me and then i also have white wedding which is like like that proper blinding white icy highlight they are all staying if i'm honest i absolutely love them i also have the highlighter palette from the advent calendar i will never have enough highlighters but yeah we're not really doing too well what can i get rid of okay Oh, okay, so I've got some purple highlighters in here. Um, I think these are the only purpley sort of highlighters. Yeah, okay. So these are the three purple highlighters I've got in my collection. Um, this one is really underwhelming. Like, it almost borderline looks like a matte powder. This is the Morphe Glow Show in the shade Lavender Beam. It comes with the purple lavender collection. I love the blush and things, but this, I think I'm just going to get rid of that. And then I've got the Revolution purple highlighter and i've also got the ColourPop. this is called the lav dream super shock highlight i mean that is an insane highlighter um i'm gonna keep both of these i'm also gonna keep this this is the hocus pocus 2 find the book shimmering body powder but it's basically a, a highlighter and it's got a greeny sort of effect to it so i'm gonna keep that one i'm gonna get rid of this this is by josh cosmetics this is the highlighter in the shade cream really nice highlighter but i think he's upgraded the packaging and everything now so i'm just gonna get rid of that patch mcgrath labs you are not going anywhere this is in the shade luna allure beautiful all my bougie ones are just they're just not going anywhere i have a highlighter in the shade ice me out really good highlighter that one's staying my natasha denona highlighter in the shade pastel plexi glow is not going anywhere this has a really gold sort of reflect to it so and i really like that plus paid a lot of money for it so that is staying i have two fenty highlighters i have this one in the duo lightning dust and fire crystal i don't actually reach for these a lot i need to like play with them a bit more again and then i have how many carrots which is the really like glittery one this definitely is like for special occasions it's super shimmery benefit cookie is not going anywhere it's still one of my absolute holy grail highlighters it is phenomenal i have this little revolution one that come in the advent calendar i think it's a super drug one i'm just going to get rid of that because it is good for a travel but i'm i'm just not going to use it this is my only two face highlighter this is the moon crush one in the shade shooting star this is a more recent purchase in like the sort of last few months so that can stay i have my two charlotte tilbury highlighters spent a lot of money on these they're not going anywhere this is the pillow talk glow one i also have charlotte tilbury highlighters in palettes as well um and then this is the hollywood one this is absolutely gorgeous definitely more on like my wavelength of highlighters it is absolutely stunning michaela x glam light highlighter i wanted this for absolute ages and i finally bought it off of someone on ebay i think and i absolutely love it this is the be perfect polar vortex highlighter in the shade frosted i'm just gonna get rid of this the packaging is so big and bulky and i just like never reach for that this is a loose highlighter by jacqueline cosmetics which she had literally just announced on the 31st of december that jacqueline cosmetics is shutting down which i'm absolutely gutted about because i've spent so much money collecting her makeup i love jacqueline hill and the fact that she's shutting it down makes me very very sad i'm still going to keep a lot of the stuff because at the end of the day i did spend my money on it and i don't always wear makeup for youtube i do sometimes go out so i can use it for when you know i'm not on camera and stuff or i can use it on camera 
I just prefer to use stuff that you guys can get hold of. But this is the loose highlighter in the shade Extra. It's my only loose highlighter, so that is going to stay. So Jacqueline has shut down, like, all of her companies, basically. And I think she's going to come out with a company that's solely owned by her. Because I'm pretty sure Jacqueline Cosmetics was owned by Morphe. Um, so my predictions is that she's going to come out with her own company and get rid of the Jacqueline Hill as well because obviously that's not her name anymore um but yeah anyway that's my predictions I have a lot of Ofra I know some people don't really talk about Ofra anymore oh my god I just realized you couldn't even see me do that because they're not in the middle yeah I have a lot of Ofra from when I used to collect them quite a lot back in the day I mean they are still today one of the best highlighters ever they are super blinding really pigmented I do love them um yeah I do have a lot this is the Steph Tom's collab in milk and cookies honestly I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of any of these because I love them so much this is star inspired by Samantha March this has uh, pillow I think it's pillow talk and star island in it really beautiful combo um, this is the Mad Madison Miller collab in Moonlight Dance. Stunning, stunning. Uh, oh my goodness, iconic. You can see how much I've used this one. Like, this is Glazed Donut by Nikki Tutorials. Absolutely love it. I did actually have... Oh no, I still have them. No, I have one of them. Um, highlighter in Space Baby. This is the blue one. I think I'm going to get rid of this, you know, because... I have the P. Louise and Michaela one on my wish list and that's a blue reflect one and I don't need two bluey highlighters so I'm going to actually get rid of Space Baby and then this last one is another Samantha March Club. this is the Dream Chaser this is a little bit more on the pinky side so that's going to stay I have two other Colourpop ones I have this one which is Making Memories these are from like last year's and like previous year's um valentine's collection but they are literally such good highlighters love and then this one is called you're glowing you're glowing that is what it looks like stunning i have a morphe one here it's that same kind of formula as the purple one it's just a bit more on like the glittery the glittery side I might give this one another go because it is a neutral colour. I think I might give this one one more go and if I don't like it, I will get rid of it. We have a Sigma highlighter in the shade Moonbeam. Not going anywhere. I'm going to kind of do all my Revolution ones together because there is there is quite a lot. I'm going to keep this Maybelline one. This is the Diamond Glow highlight. It's absolutely phenomenal and then i have this rimmel one this is in the shade stardust again really nice highlighter that is staying oh i have this little mini of ofra this is the rodeo drive one haven't used this and i keep i've actually decluttered this before and then put it back because i actually question whether it'll work for me or not and it does look quite dark no let's be real let's just get rid of that this is by natasha denona this is the diamond and glow duo um, I might get rid of this, you know. I'm basically keeping it just because it's Natasha Denona, but realistically, I haven't reached for this in in probably years, I'd say. Um, and that's too dark for me, far too dark for me. And I don't know, I just don't... It looks quite a, like a glittery type of formula. Oh, but it's so stunning. Oh, reflective. No, I've got the Fenty one for reflective glitteriness, and I have my other Natasha Denona one so I am actually going to get rid of this which makes me so sad I have one of the Kaleidos highlighters in the shade Ray Rider I really wanted one of these because Make Me Up Missa absolutely used to rave I think she does still rave about them um, but I'm going to get rid of this because I just don't use it and I don't really collect Kaleidos makeup or use Kaleidos makeup so I'm I'm going to say goodbye to that one. Oh, I have this Colourpop one I completely forgot about. This is the Flexitarian one. I think this is the one that's Michaela Naguero's favourite and it is absolutely stunning. So that one's staying. I think I'm going to leave Revolution till last because there is quite a lot of Revolution. This is another bougie one. This is by Nabla mine is actually like fully out of the pan annoyingly and obviously there's no way to glue it back in but it is fully intact and this is a really nice highlighter so that's gonna stay i've got two jua ones i used to love these back in the day this is the shade rose quartz love that my god i've literally not used these in ages but they are they are absolutely stunning they are definitely more of that like sort of glowy highlighter i might keep just this one this big one 
which is in the shade Ice. And I'm going to declutter this one in Rose Calls. If you can hear Frank in the background, I do apologise. It sounds like he's telling Ronald off. <laughs> I have this sleek highlighter. It's a really nice highlighter, but I'm not going to lie. I don't reach for it. Um, so I'm going to let it go. I have this one by Milk Makeup in the shade Iced, I think. It's quite a goldy highlighter. Um, and I'm going to keep this. I also have one by Melt Cosmetics. This is in the shade Stargazer. Um, I think I got this second hand. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. I'm just keeping it because I have, just so I have like a neutral highlight by Melt. I do also have the Nightmare Before Christmas highlighter. Um, but that's still in the packaging, or like the case that they come in. And also that is on the more like pinky bronzy side. So I want to keep that one as a wearable one for me. Um, this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in incandescent i think something i i never reach for this i honestly don't see the hype with hourglass makeup like they're these powders because i just feel like they're really soft glow powders and honestly that might be your thing which is fine but it's just not something for me i just feel like they're really i don't know like lackluster so i'm actually i'm gonna get rid of this which i did not think i was gonna do but here we are. I do love the Hourglass Concealer. That's a really nice product. But their powders, their lightning powders, I don't know. I just don't I don't get the hype with them. Oh my goodness. W7 Glow Commotion. What an absolute throwback. Yes, that is staying. That's like a dupe of the Mer Merry Luminizer by The Balm. We have a Ciate highlighter in Starburst. That one can stay. I don't really reach for it a lot. But again, I'm hoping... Now that everything's out in front of me, I'll be able to rotate what I use all the time. And I might even start doing a, like, um, like what's in my, you know, current makeup routine sort of videos and what I'm sort of using. Um, sweet one. This is a small business on, well, I actually found them on TikTok shop. And this is in the shade mirror. It looks absolutely beautiful. I don't think I've had a chance to use this yet, but look at that. Oh, my goodness. Can you even see? I don't know if it's in focus, but it's absolutely beautiful. So that is staying. I've also got a blush by them. Kimchi Chic. They like get glow. Hollywood glow. I think this was given to me by someone. But I don't really use it. It does look nice, but it's not... Mm, I think I'm going to give this to someone else that would appreciate it a bit more. Um, I thought I was going to absolutely love these. And I really wanted to get like the blushes and bronzers and things. But I just never really... I don't know, I just never really jumped on the hype, even though I've heard absolutely amazing things by Kim Chi. Um, but I think I'm I think I'm gonna get rid of that. Alright, I think these are the I think these are the odd ones left. Firstly, we have this by Physicians Formula. This is the Pearl Butter Highlighter. My mum and dad got this for me when they first went to America. Um, and I'm not getting rid of it because it's quite sentimental. This is a highlighter by Beauty Bay in the shade Flash. This smashes so many times, but it's literally the most beautiful drugstore affordable highlighter. I absolutely love it. Oh, I have this one by Wet n Wild. This is the highlighting powder in blossom glow i just feel like this is an iconic highlighter i can't let that go i'm gonna get rid of this one this is the revlon skin lights in the shade daybreak glimmer i think this was supposed to be a dupe of amrezy i can't even remember if it was or not but yeah i'm just gonna get rid of that one okay and we also have a studio london highlight as well these honestly aren't my favorite highlighters but i am going to keep it um i haven't got any other highlighters by studio london so i'm going to keep that because they are bringing out new stuff so it's good to have at least one of everything from a brand well for me anyway now we're left with all the revolution collab brands and like normal sort of highlighters so let's delve into these and see if i can get rid of any so firstly we have the I Heart Revolution Fruity Pebbles Highlighter. The reason I keep this is because it's a multicoloured highlighter and I think that's really cool. These used to be massive back in the day. A multi good coloured, multicolour highlighter. Um, but they're not around anymore so much. And I don't even think you can buy these anymore. I think it might be discontinued. Oh, the more I'm talking about it, the more I'm like, Alec, just get rid of it. You're just never going to use it, are you? You've got blue highlighters, you've got pink highlighters. Gold, like, yeah. Let's just get rid of that. So, right, so we need at least one highlight by Eye Revolution. So this is the hot chocolate highlighter. I'm going to keep this because I freaking love the packaging. 
um, and this is a really nice sort of goldy highlighter so that one can stay this is the unicorn heart highlighter i think i'm going to finally declutter this i i've kept this so many times thinking i'm going to use it and because it is so pretty it's got like three stunning shades in it and i keep this because this was the first collection they gave they they gave me they gifted me um but i did keep the eyeshadow palette from this collection so i think i am uh, i'm gonna say goodbye to it this is a newer one this is the butterfly highlighter i think this is a really pretty like pinky kind of highlighter um i'm gonna keep this because this was actually really pretty I think I'm going to end up keeping these all. Um, so this is the Pineapple Ombre Highlighter. I really like this one because it has the gradients in it. So if you're pale, you can use the middle section, you know, middle, medium, deep. You know, it's just absolutely stunning. I really like that. So that can stay. Next, we have these two by Revolution. Um, these are like those weird Petri dish kind of highlighters. Um, we have like a more paler, pinky, champagne one. And then we have a more bronzy one. These honestly really surprised me. They dry down with like a matte finish and they're so blinding. Um, I am only going to keep one because I can't see myself reaching for them a lot. So I'm going to declutter bronze, which is this one. I honestly don't think I can give that to anyone. I might just have to bin that. Um, and then I'm going to keep the rose gold one. They look so weird, but honestly, you need to try these. They're so good. Um... I have two Grinch ones. Uh, this one was from the main collection in 2022. And then this was, again, 2022, but from the advent calendar. So they can stay. This is the Minnie Mouse highlighter duo. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this because it just doesn't excite me. The Gingy highlight, even though this is far too deep for me, I am not getting rid of that <laughs> and i also have the little mini gingy one from this year's advent calendar and that is going to stay as well also going to keep my mic highlighter from the monsters university collection this is a really nice gold one sorry i think it keeps going in and out of focus this is a really it looks really pale but honestly when you swatch it it's like a really nice goldy goldy sort of highlight i don't think you can see that and it's got a really fun like squishy packaging so this is the xx revolution highlighter in echo this is absolutely beautiful i love that i've got three relove highlighters uh, mm, mm. honestly they're not the best i actually prefer the highlighters that are in the duos the blush and highlight duos i feel like the formula is so much better um, I'm going to get rid of the euphoric one because it is more on like the darker pink sort of side. And I'll keep both of these for now, but I think in the future I might declutter these because, yeah, the formula is quite powdery and the duos ones are just so much better. Um, I'm going to keep this one because this is part of their core collection. This is just one of their highlighters in the shade golden lights and it is a really nice um, gold, like yellow gold sort of highlight. This is the Batman highlighter it's a really good one um gonna keep that the simpsons this is the summer of love like ombre highlighter let me just swatch this can you see that there we go yeah that's pretty actually yeah i'll keep that i have got highlighter from the the treehouse of horror collection but not from this one so i will keep that i think i ended up decluttering the darker one because there was two versions of that next we have emily in paris highlighter this is, again, really nice ombre one, and I love that they did, like, pal leading into bronzy because it means, like, everyone can get a chance to use this. So I really like this. And then I have two of these big highlighters. This was in the Festive Allure collection. It's, honestly, don't be fooled by the really affordable packaging. This is £5 and such a good highlighter. I literally could not recommend this enough. I love that. And then this one is from a collection, a Christmas collection, maybe a few years ago now. We are in 2024 now, after all. Um, and this is the Soft Glamour Highlighter. I don't use this, but it is really pretty. Oh, as much as I love the packaging, I'm actually going to get rid of this one because I don't need it. I've actually got so many Revolution ones and just a lot of highlighters in general. So those are all of my highlighters. If I've got any extra, honestly, they're in other boxes. I'm still getting through everything, so I might not actually have everything in front of me. Um, but that is the majority of my highlighter collection, um, barring maybe a couple. 
I'm now going to put these all in the drawer and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've just put everything in the drawer and this is what it looks like. I have put it in one of the glass drawers and my blushes are going to go next to it in there. This is what it looks like when you open the drawer. I'm really happy with it. I honestly did not think it was all going to fit in nicely like that. I like really underestimated how big these drawers are. So at the front, I've put my blushes just because they look a bit aesthetic to look at if it wants to focus. There we go. Got my bl blushes at the front. I've got a Rare Beauty one and some Colourpop ones. I'm going to put my other Rare Beauty ones at the front as well because they're definitely one of my favourites. And then I haven't really put these in, in like a particular order. Like I've put my lip like my other liquid ones here it's probably easier to show you like this i put my glow milk rare beauty ones there and then the rest of my liquid highlighters sort of at the front i'm going to get a container to put those in just so they're all kept together and then as i said not really put this in any particular order i have tried to keep the ones at the back that i don't really reach for a lot um i put all my over ones in the corner with the Jure one on top i've put some revolution like really big collab ones at the back um that i won't reach for a lot uh, like the gingerbread one and the Grinch one and stuff. I've also put the big colourful uh, colour pop ones at the back, the Morphe one, Studio London Physicians Formula. I put Rev Collab ones here with some more drugstore ones. Um, it's a little bit mixed. Kind of depends on what I reach from, what I don't. In the middle, I've kind of kept to like my bougie highlighters that I absolutely love and I know I'll reach for. Um, my ABH ones are here, P. Louise, Fenty, Charlotte Tilbury, Benefit, Glam Light, Tasha Denona, Kylie, Too Faced, Pat McGrath, Rem, Mel and Milk is under that as well with Fenty. Put my Jacqueline Loose at the back again because it's discontinued now, um, people can't buy them so I've put that at the back but honestly I'm so happy with how this looks, like honestly buzzing with it because it means I will now reach for a lot of these that I don't normally reach for. It makes my heart very happy that they're all set out in front of me now that I can rotate my highlighters a lot and I just think it looks really good in the in the drawers like that. Yeah, buzzing. This is me, you know, organising and decluttering my highlighter drawer. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.